Branding yourself. That's the only thing that you can do in this unstable economy. The economy is unstable. Nobody knows what to do. Everybody's like, Sean, should I do Bitcoin? Should I do uh, cryptocurrency? Should I become a coach, a speaker? Right? Should I, should I brand myself as a consultant? I've got the education, the experience, and the expertise. And I tell them all the same thing. Calm down. Look in the mirror. What is it about you that makes you different? Differentiation. What do you love to do? Unique value proposition. What are you the best at? That's your education experience and your expertise. What do you help people with? That's your big promise statement, right? How do you help people? You have to brand you because in an unstable economy, you're the only thing that you can bet on, right? Your business model. So let's say you set up your business model around network marketing. And then something happens over there with the policy and the feds, right? So I've seen so many businesses get shut down because of, and not just saying network marketing, but different business models. What happened to the guy that did the Bitcoin, right? What happened with the guy that did the hedge funds? Listen, <laughs> listen, a lot of people, you know, say real estate, real estate. That's great. When you brand you, you become your greatest asset. And no matter what happens in a volatile market, you can bet on you. You are the soundest, you are the safest, and you are the most salient investment that you could possibly make. Invest in you, brand you, market yourself, scale yourself, the business will follow. Trust me, when you do you right, the business follows. So Sean, I got an LLC, what should I name it? <laughs> Sean Wright East Media. You are the brand. Write that down and underline it. Go to sleep thinking about it. You are the brand. I am the brand. Brand yourself. Children graduating from school. Sean, what should I take in college? Yourself. Coming out of college, Sean, how should I apply it? Yourself. What trade should I take in school? What, what should, I, what should my, my underscore be? What should my emphasis area be? Yourself. Branding psychology, leadership development, executive coaching for leaders. Brand you, not what you do. It's not about what you do. This is why people are able to move and transverse different markets. We've done multiple certifications for multiple different competencies. But that's because I branded me. If I said my name is Sean by East, the speaker, then when a client needed coaching, it came to me and I said, okay, well, I'm an executive coaching with leadership development background. They say, hold on, er, pull over. Your name is Sean Raiz. You're the speaker. You're the speaker. Now you're telling me that you're a coach, consultant, leadership development expert. You understand? So you got to go, you got to remove the competence sometimes and just add the confidence. A lot of times we have all the competence in the world, but we lack the confidence to really brand me or brand you or brand yourself. So when I ask people, what do you do? They say, I'm an MBA. They say, I'm an accountant. They say, I'm, in a, I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. No, that's not you. That's not who you are. That's what you do. We live in a volatile world, guys. Stuff is shaky. The only solid ground is you. The only solid ground is your knowledge base, your competence base. People want to do business with people, not competencies, not skills. You're great at what you do. Okay, great. Who is it? What makes you different is your story. What makes you different is your values. What makes you different is the way you interact with people. It's all about you. Your blueprint is your fingerprint, which leaves an imprint in the ideal client's mind. So get out of the skill set, get into the mindset. Understand? <laughs> I hope you're following. You are the brand. You are the brand. You want, you want wealth? Brand yourself. You want help? Brand yourself. You're going to feel phenomenal. You're going to say, hold on, I'm the brand. I got to look good. I got to take care of myself. I got to eat right. I got to hydrate. I got to sleep right. That's the truth. But when you're trying to brand everything else, see, if you, if you got to be a lawyer, then they're going to tell you what you have to do to pass the bar. If you want to be a doctor, they're going to tell you what you have to do to pass the eight years in college, 16 years in college. 
But if you're branding you and you're making a business based on you, when you're branding yourself, oh, you've got to be in optimal health, optimal mental health, optimal rest. Everything becomes better when you brand yourself, brand you, and not what you do. Listen, guys, if you want to know more information, just click below somewhere. I'm sure in the descriptions, there's somewhere to get in contact with us. We would love nothing more than to help you walk through the process of branding yourself like we have taught for years. Brand you and not what you do.